फाइव डेज गोज नो फाइव डेज भी हैं डेज तो प्लूरल हो गया ना सो विथ प्लूरल यू के नॉट यूज एस इन ई एस इन दी एक्शन फॉर्म यू कैन सिंपली से दैट माई डेज पास Hi, good morning, and I'm good. Thank you. Very good morning. That's really great. Tanuja, are we meeting for the first time? I guess yes. 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 Okay. So I think we should start with introduction, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. So as you know, my name is Tanuja, and I'm from Bhopal. My qualification, I have done engineering from computer science, and currently I'm a working professional in IT sector. and yeah that's all about oh me. wow it sector wow that's great you guys know technology by hand huh that's great <laughs> <laughs> yes okay so um do you know me tanuja before i say anything do you know me yes but i want to know more about you <laughs> okay i thought let me skip introduction but okay um my name is sarika poplani connecting you via english yari I take classes on other platforms as well, wherein I take international students and Indian students both. I take spoken English grammar classes. Along with that, I take personality development, public speaking, and creative writing. Um, I for prior to three years, I was in Dubai for good twelve years, wherein I worked with university institutions in different corporate companies. and before that i was in ppo started as an agent then worked as a process trainer my tenure was good 6 years and i am masters in english overall i have 19 years of experience in corporate out of which 9 years purely in teaching mentoring and providing personality development public speaking creative writing classes to students so this is all about me yeah that's nice to you know <laughs> Anything else that you would like to know? No. no. Okay, great. But I would like to ask you: Are you a YouTuber? Yes. Ah, okay. Because I saw that stand, you know, at the back. So I thought maybe that is your using for it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Great. So, if you have any questions, please proceed. If not, then we can directly jump to the questions. Yeah, uh, we can go on questions. Okay. Okay. Yeah, one thing. Actually, <laughs> I saw a session notes, and that is for goals. But uh, I already discussed goal on like before uh, this session. I don't know why it is repeated. I don't know. Okay, so let's talk about something else then. Yes. How about pets? Do you have pets? You are okay. talking about pets, right? Pets, yeah. Dog, no, cat, I don't cat, have or nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but have you seen pets? Yeah, we have. Yeah, so I think we can follow it. So my first question, <coughs> sorry. Do you entertain the idea of keeping pets at home? No, I don't like. <laughs> why? Ah, uh, I don't know why, but uh, yes, I like it if I see uh, with anyone else. But I can't keep it <laughs> with me. Okay, but why are you so scared of pets? Ah, uh, don't know. Actually, we need extra care for uh, them, so mm -hmm. that's why I think. So, what kind of fear do you have that you won't be able to take care of pets? What kind of fear do you have? I don't know <laughs> what, <laughs> but yeah, I scare a lot. Okay. How about caging animals? What are your views on that? Uh, what is the meaning of caging? Caging means putting them in cage. Okay. Okay. I think we shouldn't keep. in cage uh, especially uh, especially birds or any animals who want freedom and uh, yeah that is not good but uh, if i'll talk about uh, wild animals so it can be harmful for uh, anyone so yeah we should keep them in cage 
Okay. So as you said, any animals who want freedom. Do you know any animals who do not enjoy freedom? No, actually everyone wants freedom, I think. <laughs> we also need freedom, right? Yes, right. We Even we can't uh, keep ourselves in a single room and uh, we are not going out, so we can't do this thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whenever you talk about these sentences, like we are going out or, you know, it's a general statement. So you can use simple present tense rather than using continuous tense. You can use simple present tense. It's like we also need to go out. We cannot stay in a single room. We also need freedom. Similarly, I guess pets are or pets should get freedom. They are also or they have equal rights to enjoy freedom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shall I continue with the same topic or shall I change the topic? Okay, you bring the topic. Anuja, let's you start the topic. I can't recall topics. We can uh, discuss on any other topic. Okay, so how about uh, books? Do you read books? Uh, recently I started, but before that I was not uh, like doing this exercise, like reading every day. But yeah, recently I started reading books. So which book are you reading? Uh, currently I'm reading Power of Positive Thinking. Oh, God, Gopal Das. Yes. Okay, that's really nice. So how many pages have you finished? I think I have completed one chapter only. Yes. Okay. And who suggested you this book? Uh, nobody has suggested. I went on, uh, I went in book pairs and uh, I chose this book. I chose this book. Chose this book, yes. Yeah. Okay, that's really nice. So what do you think? What is the difference of paper book and ebooks? Which one would you prefer and why? Uh, I would prefer pages books like uh, hard books. Mm -hmm. um, paper books. Mm -hmm. Yes, paper books. Because, you know, in uh, ebooks, sometimes it happens I'm reading. So I don't get co concentration on that. Or sometimes mm -hmm. if I get any notification on my laptop or phone, so I get easily distracted. So I want paper books. Okay. And uh, what are the other benefits of paper book? What do you think? Mm. I can't say anything. You can carry them anywhere. You can read it anywhere. Any other? Yeah, but we can do with ebooks as well. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> what is the major difference between these two? Uh, I don't really know. So when you take any paper edition, I mean, since you have bought only one book, I'm pretty sure that book is very close to you when you started reading and you have just finished first chapter. I'm pretty sure that you are reading it with full confidence. How many days it has been that you have started uh, that book? It has been how many days? I think one or two weeks. One I or haven't two? read it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm so just how... making this habit. <laughs> okay, you're inculcating the habit. Okay. Yeah. So how yeah. how do you start reading any book? Do you read the index first or you straight away start with the first chapter? Do you read the summary first, which is given at the back side of the page? Oh, I have read summary first uh, like what book is about first and then i started with chapter then you started with chapter but why did you buy only this book what was so special about it because book um, fair means a lot of books around yes you know uh, uh, like uh, i feel like that i am very negative person i always think negative so i need this book <laughs> so that i would be <laughs> think about positive. <laughs> and why do you feel you are a negative person? Why do you think like that? I don't know, but for every uh, for everything, I always uh, think negative first, and then I will think about any positive side. I will think negative first. What would happen if I'll do this thing, or uh, uh, this kind of thoughts come first? <laughs> okay, I think. Um, 
thinking about these things is not bad you should be knowing what are the repercussions or what will be the, your repercussions of doing this action so i don't think so there is anything bad but if you see what if this won't happen what if this i'm not able to do what if this happens you know that is called negative thinking so for example you have exams what if i fail yeah i have this thinking every time like what would happen in exam in any kind of exam i know that i can do better uh, but uh, still i have this negative thoughts in my mind what would happen if i i get less marks or this this thinking comes first okay so basically you have that fear of anything yeah. going wrong you have that butterflies in your stomach that what if this thing goes wrong right yeah yeah right okay. So how are you dealing with that do you do any kind of meditation yoga exercise gymming workout no i'm not doing anything mm -hmm. no relaxation exercises techniques nothing okay so what kind of content you upload on your youtube let's talk about your youtube channel ah uh, yes i had started like uh, i have to improve myself especially on uh, english so i just started one year ago but that time i was just uploading videos on mathematics uh, because i love mathematics but uh, in in my job i don't require mathematics as of now and i i need to recall it again so it was a uh, kind of time taking process for me even i have read all these things in hindi language so i need to translate everything in english then i need to uh, you know uh, explain all these things because i don't wanted to explain each and everything in hindi because no need of hindi as of now in my career so suddenly i switched to english and uh, now it is continuously i am uploading videos like conversational videos and uh, what are the things we can do to improve our english so i'm just uploading this kind of content okay just now you have used the line i don't want it to mm -hmm. either i didn't want but in this sentence it will be i don't want to upload any kind of videos you know blah 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 so my personal question to you why don't you think that mathematics videos would do more good since you are a maths teacher not yes, a maths I I say but you are good at maths you said right yes yes mm -hmm. the real reason is i don't want to explain in hindi language so it is quite difficult for me to explain in english everything in english language so that's why i switched to english and you said that currently you are not using it in your career so that is why you felt that this is not required so you yeah. have so it means you have decided that you want to take it as your career yes sir don't want to do anything in maths since you are good in maths <laughs> no no <laughs> if you are good at something i think you should take it to your career no yes i was uh, teaching mathematics in my college days as well but after joining my job uh, like i was uh, teaching in school as well school and uh, coaching but uh, after joining my job i was not getting i switched to another city so uh, i was not uh, having this chance to take the set, take the coaching so that's why i left this idea that i can okay. continue and okay. still now uh, like my shift timing every time changes so i can't take this responsibility that i can teach offline coaching and all this okay per well, understood now i have just used two prepositions um but you didn't ask me that question that why are you using in and at both so one was wrong i thought that you would point it out but you didn't okay so i said you are good at maths and then i said at good in maths what do you think which is the right preposition uh i think in okay and why do you think in um because you have heard people stating that yeah right. okay So now this is something adapting adapting English via your listening skills. Okay. Now what happens here? Good at and good in. You know they are commonly used. Um, but when you are referring to a specific structure, you have to change it. So when you say good at, 
Now, good art is something when you are referring to some kind of skills or abilities. So, for example, if you are good in maths, that means you are a good problem solver, right? So, you can simply say this thing, I am good at maths. Or you can simply say, sorry, not good at maths. You can simply say, I am good at problem solving. But if you are using good in, then this is often used when you are talking about a specific subject or field of study. So for instance, you can simply say this thing that um, I am good in math or I'm good in science. Okay, so if you're talking about specific subject like math or science, I'll just give an example. You can simply mm -hmm. use in. Okay, that would be more specific. But if you're talking about your ability, your skills, you can say that I'm good at. Okay. Okay. So we can okay. Uh, use both according to the context. Yeah, casual conversations, you can use them interchangeably in casual conversations. But otherwise, the meaning is usually clear from the context only. If you're talking about your ability, use at. If you're talking about specific subject, then use in. Okay. Okay. Yes. Great. So that calls for my next question. What is your goal in IT? Okay. So I want to reach on a certain designation, respectable position in my company, I can say. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, it will take time because uh, I need to improve myself first in both the areas like soft skills and technical skills both so i'm just working on those things and uh, yeah we'll try them okay you said something but i missed that part in the beginning you said something i you you said this thing it has been one year that you are working in that organization right you yeah, have been four years four years yeah. okay so how many designations you have gotten these four years? I mean, what kind of promotions you have got? Any kind of appraisals that you have got in these three years? Yes. Tell me something about your job. Yes, what so is this related with? Because for me, security analyst, I'm zero in that. Yeah, so basically I'm inside cybersecurity domain, but I'm in subdomain of cybersecurity. Okay, so if somebody is stealing my identity, I can simply go to cybersecurity and my case will go to you. Is that so? Yeah, we are preventing before. Like uh, what are the things you can do to prevent your identity? Okay, so, so you are talking just... about... Mm -hmm, please go ahead. Yes, we are supporting this kind uh, of thing, like uh, how you can prevent your identities so no one can uh, steal your data and no one can unauthorize access of your data. Okay, so some kind of antivirus options you give, some kind of details you give that this you can install in your PC and this will never have fire walls and all that, right? Like uh, you are using your identities, digital identities, for example, your I uh, ID and password, all these things. So how mm -hmm. you can uh, make this secure? Like, for example, you can use complex password. You have to change it uh, like every 30 days or 60 days, or you can use multi-factor authentication uh, to prevent your identity. So this kind of security. Okay. okay. And in case if the theft is done, mm -hmm. then where should we go? you will be handling or you will transfer it to other department so we will forward it to next level upper level. level okay so you must be dealing with investigations also yes yes mm -hmm. that's pretty exciting huh? it looks like a very suspense kind of job no <laughs> <laughs> so how is your uh, other life your personal life this is your professional life how is your pro personal life now I would say it is kind of boring <laughs> because I'm working from home. So five days goes in uh, like work. And after that, uh, I like if we go to uh, office or if we are leaving any other city, so we get a lot of environment or a lot of opportunity to explore much. But uh, mm -hmm. I'm in my hometown, so I don't get this kind of opportunity so that I can interact with many people. Uh, so it was kind of boring, but yeah, on weekend especially, I just go out to with my friends. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, five days goes no. 
फाइव डेज भी हैं डेज तो प्लूरल हो गया ना सो विद प्लूरल यू के नॉट यूज एस इन ई एस इन द एक्शन फॉर्म यू कैन सिंपली से दैट माई डेज पास my days passed all my days my whole week passes you can say a week passes week mein aap 5 din kaam karte ho i work for 5 days a week and this week passes so fast okay it okay. passes lagega okay or this week goes so fast and i'm just locked in one room for those 5 days for one week but on weekends you said you get lot of opportunity Uh, if you are uh, living in some other city then you get lot of opportunity to explore much much is not required here explore ka matlab hi hai ki bahar ja ke jagah jagah aur aapne a lot of to already use kiya tha right you get a lot of ex- uh, opportunities to explore yes okay mm-hmm. okay please do so that was really nice so what are you planning for your personal life how are you going to make it exciting with these classes with this youtube how is youtube helping you yes uh i think because of uh, youtube i can say i am very consistent about learning this language otherwise mm-hmm. we feel like that uh, oh i took the session today so uh, if i want to uh, feel like that uh, t- tomorrow i want don't want to do the session again so i will skip but because of youtube i am consistent oh. <laughs> so it is helpful for me <laughs> Great. So, how many videos do you make in a week? Ah, uh, four, four or five uh, videos. I'm just upload. I'm uploading in a week. Wow. So you upload four to five videos. So these are self videos or only conversational videos? And nowadays, uh, it's more like uh, conversational videos. Okay. So do you put like your that. comments as well? Uh, you... No, I'm just. Mm-hmm. talking ahead, with different please. people uh mm-hmm. talking with different people or uh, on a some sometimes on a particular topic as well so i get idea like how they are speaking or if someone who is uh, fluent than me so i just pick up how they are speaking so i just do this thing especially oh, it is for my improvement i can say <laughs> <laughs> okay because lot of times i see that generally youtubers have opened their channels for commercial purposes and learning actually takes the back seat okay this happens with a lot of people i guess and i generally don't go to youtube so i'm not very sure about it i have just heard with you know a couple of people that this is happening so that is the reason i feel i am not a youtuber i am not interested in media at all and that is the reason i resist myself i have never opened my of my channels or i'm not on social media the only platform i actually explore is linkedin because um, you know it is for professional ground so that is the only platform so i'm not very much into social media because i get scared i i don't want fame or any kind of name but i get scared because a lot of cases i have heard that people are getting or taking undue advantage of the situation and this becomes very difficult at times to handle and the things there are so much there are so many things in your personal life that you don't get time for all these things but i think you are the right person because you are from security you know cyber security so you would be able to give you all these things so i'm pretty sure that you are doing a wonderful job okay tanuja so that's all for today's session i mean that is all from my side do you want to say anything um i think no like yes i want my feedback like how, what are the things i can do to improve my absolutely the kind of feedback i gave you time and again you just need to work on your subject verb agreement you are able to understand the questions you are able to prepare the content you are able to make your sentences and in my speaking actually with new people i always try to use you know two different statements so that i can make a mistake and i can explain that why did i make this mistake and how can you catch these mistakes like i gave you an example today for at and in i'm pretty sure that you're not going to forget this okay so why are you using in and at so these are simple things if you can pick up any time whenever you're talking to any other tutor or also with any other person Mm-hmm. ask them questions then where to use this and this in case if you have any confusion while talking because i saw two three times you were changing your sentence construction because you were not speaking in a flow then all of a sudden you thought 
I'm not able to carry this sentence. Let me change my structure. And the second okay. structure, you could carry it well. Okay. So decide okay. which structure is good with you and where you are facing the challenges. I think these sessions can help you with those challenges to overcome. Okay. okay. Once you overcome your challenges, you will become a fine speaker. You will become a good speaker. You already have the potential to do it. I can see that you are able to handle. I have spoken with you. Um, like good 25 minutes and on top of it i asked you several questions which were not related with one topic okay so you were able to handle it and you gave pretty good answers a little bit feedback which i gave you just work on that and i'm pretty sure you will become a very good speaker very soon okay, okay i will work on that yes, for your channel tanuja hope to see you again take good care of yourself enjoy your weekend take care bye bye, bye, -bye.